Hey, it's Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Rocky Mounts Tomahawk and Rocky Mounts Brass Knuckles. And here we have both of them on display. We basically just want to show you what the difference is between these two racks, a comparison between them. Uh, both, of course, are upright bicycle carriers, so no front wheel removal is required for either design. And they are also both hook-on wheel style, so it's not grabbing the frame. You've got these... Uh, ratcheting arms that come up and grip onto the top of the front wheel. But we want to kind of focus in on what is the difference between these two because there are different price points. Of course price fluctuates um, so we're not going to mention price. Click the link and uh, you can find out pricing on either one of these. Um, but there is a price difference. The Tomahawk is a less expensive of the two designs. Now the Tomahawk has uh, an extruded aluminum tray the brass knuckle, same thing. They do have different dimensions and uh, different weights. So this tray is um, stronger, more heavy duty. Uh, this tray is still capable of doing everything that this tray is. So fat tire bikes, uh, all the way down to road bikes, no problem. This one can as well. Uh, when you do fat tire bikes with this, it does require a upgrade kit to extend the strap length as well as provide a larger uh, wheel chuck. Um, over here on the Tomahawk, it already has a larger wheel chuck and it already comes with your extensions to accommodate very large fat tire bike tires. Uh, so those are already included with the Tomahawk at the lower price point. Um, other features to, uh, other, other differences would be this Tomahawk uses a steel metal plate for its, uh, where it attaches typically to the front crossbar and it also uses um, underbar plates with, carried, with uh, bolts that hold it uh, all together at the front. That in comparison to the brass knuckle which is all cast aluminum so this whole entire section at the front here is a cast aluminum Part, and the method of attachment is flexible stainless steel bands that wrap around the load bar. So it is a lower profile type uh, method of mounting and also as far as how it mounts it is very quick and easy. So if you pull off the security cover you have a single fastener that you use to tighten up those two bands all at once. That compared to the Tomahawk let me go ahead and pull off the uh, this Tomahawk cover. It has uh, a couple a couple tabs up underneath. Work there it goes. So underneath this security cover, and when I say security cover, I'm referring to the fact that you have the option to install lock cylinders into the cover, providing a strong theft deterrent. So under the cover, you have these these four fasteners right here. And those four fasteners are what's used to tighten up the underbar plate from the underside. And uh, so two different ways of doing it. Uh, both hold on equally well. They're both equally safe, both equally stiff and strong. So that is not uh, a difference. The main difference is the convenience of very fast install and removal with a single fastener, a lower profile because simply you simply have just this very thin stainless steel band that is underneath the load bar versus having a much thicker underbar plate and whatever whatever bolt uh, sticks out from the underside. You can minimize that amount of bolt sticking out from the underside by using this spacer. This, this plastic spacer can be used or not used depending on how uh, thick your crossbars are. Okay, so let me uh, move on to uh, some other differences so you can see the, the two arms. So this is the ratcheting hold down arm on the Tomahawk. And this is the ratcheting hold down arm on the brass knuckle. So the brass knuckle got its name from what you see right here. This is uh, where, you, where you reach up and grip to the uh, hold down arm. So it's a nice touch uh, from a styling standpoint. It also gives you uh, a very secure grip as you pull it down. Um, also, this has the added feature to where when you're not using it, you can 
you can have it back where it was if you want, or if you want an extremely low profile, you can bring it to the very front. And so that, when it's in that position, you've got probably the lowest profile uh, upright bike carrier um, ever made to this point. Um, versus this design, where you rotate it down this way, and it just sits up above the tray, probably adding maybe about an inch. So it's not a big difference, but that is a difference. So all combined, um, there is uh, good reasons to choose this for people that want fast install and removal, low profile on the underside, and um, the extra, extra heavy duty tray. Um, this design also offers just as much capability of this one, actually beyond this one because right out of the box it has the fat tire capability. Um, so from that point on, it's up to you to decide whichever you think is uh, better for your uh, particular situation. I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Hopefully this video has helped you in making your choice. Thanks for watching.